Today's lesson will focus on eating disorders. During this lesson, we will identify the three main eating disorders, the signs, symptoms, and consequences of each eating disorder, and the resources that are available to individuals with eating disorders. What is normal eating? Normal eating is being able to eat when you are hungry and continue eating until you are satisfied. It is being able to choose food you like and eat it and truly get enough of it, not just stop eating because you think you should. Normal eating is being able to use some moderate constraint in your food selection to get the right foods, but not being so restrictive that you miss out on pleasurable foods. Normal eating is giving yourself permission to eat sometimes because you are happy, sad, bored, or just because it feels good. Normal eating is eating three meals a day most of the time, but it can also be choosing to munch throughout the day. And of course, that means eating healthy snacks. The healthier, the better. Normal eating is overeating at times, feeling stuffed and uncomfortable. It is also undereating at times and wishing you had more. Normal eating is to trust your body to make up for your mistakes in eating. Normal eating takes up some of your time and attention but keeps its place as only one important area of your life. In short, normal eating is flexible. It varies in response to your emotions, your schedule, your hunger, and your proximity to food. Eating Disorders The three main kinds of eating disorders are anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating disorder. Anorexia is the loss or lack of appetite. It is an emotional disorder that is caused by an obsessive desire to lose weight by refusing to eat. Anorexia drops weight to about 20% below normal, denies feeling hungry, self-starvation, obsession with food, one who exercises excessively, Someone who is very thin, thin, but feels fat. And oftentimes they have conflict with family and friends about eating. And often they experience depression and anxiety. Bulimia. Bulimia is an, an obsessive desire to lose weight in which bouts of extreme overeating are followed by depression and self-induced vomiting, purging, or fasting. Binge means to eat huge amounts of food in a short period of time, and purge, vomiting, using laxatives or diuretics. For someone who has excuses to go to the bathroom immediately after meals, and then one who withdraws from social activities. Other signs may overexercise, feel depressed, helpless. Usually, one who is bulimic is a uh, at a normal weight. The third is binge eating disorder. It is eating large quantities of food, often very quickly and to the point of discomfort. A feeling of a loss of control during the binge. Again, binge is eating a large amount of food in a short period of time. In this case, it is at least twice a week and it continues over a period of time. In, some, in most cases, at least six months and causes distress or problems in this person's life.
It is also one who usually binges alone and cannot stop when they are full. They eat large amounts of food when they are not hungry. Additional signs is that they feel out of control and then they are depressed, guilty or disgusted. They gain weight excessively, excessively and they are often overweight. Causes of eating disorders. Eating disorders start about 11 to 14 years of age and as early as 7. There is no single cause. There is still are not sure of all the causes. They may not feel good inside so a person tries to change the outside. They have a low self esteem. Depression or stress and a lack of feeling of control. Sports that emphasize weight such as wrestling or ballet. Families may have eating disorders or overly emphasize weight. Media pressure to be thin and attractive. The effects of eating disorders. Anorexia. Without treatment, it can cause death. For a female, the loss of a menstrual cycle. Heart liver and kidney damage, low blood pressure, pulse and breathing rate, hair loss and brittle fingernails, they feel cold even in warm weather, headaches, dizziness and concentrate, concentration difficulties, withdrawal and depression, bulimia, Loss of potassium which can lead to heart problems or even death. Tooth decay. And in that case, loss of teeth. Swollen glands in the face. Also known as chipmunk cheeks. Stomach pain. Stomach and kidney damage. And again, withdrawal and depression. Binge eating disorder, overweight, which can make it difficult to get around and increases risk for chronic diseases, diseases such as heart disease and diabetes. Trouble with breathing and sleeping due to being overweight. 